Content over everything. Thank you very much. You see how there's a different there? The Trinity is such that person A, that means the father is not the son, and the son is not the Holy Spirit. Just like Kalam, his, his brother A and his brother B, they are distinct from each other. Same like the Trinity. The three persons are distinct from one another. Okay, the father is not the son, and the son is not the Holy Spirit. Now they say that they have one essence. have different essence okay 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 so how is it we have three persons in the trinity but only one person sorry one essence okay so now when we're talking about the one essence okay yeah. we're talking about the underlying substratum of the nature the essence i.e eternality so we're saying that the father is eternal right is that the only essence they have can i can i, can I finish no, can i'm finish? just asking so for example they're saying there is eternality so the father is eternal okay. right yeah. cool the um also let me actually draw away from personal relationships because I know sometimes that can confuse people's minds okay so we're saying that the father i.e. the will the authority okay is always eternal is eternal right then we have the speech or the word of God itself is also eternal right and then we also have his spirit or his holy spirit is also eternal so it's one essence that also has three hypostases I think you they're got, all eternal yeah you got mixed up with the essence the essence doesn't mean just eternal the nature is what the essence is. For example, the nature of the son is no. not co-equal with the nature of the father. No. The reason for that is, are you saying essence no. is not the nature? No, what, I'm talking about the essence, okay, oasis. What, okay, let me see if you understand this. What is the oasis? What is the oasis? That's what I want to ask you, what is the no, oasis? I'm asking you, I'm asking you. I, I think it's the nature. It's the nature, okay. The nature so, of God doesn't change. For example, God Almighty, the father is immortal. Okay. Is the son immortal? Okay, so it's not to do with immortality. Okay. No, this one of the essence. Okay, the reason why is, is that area is something completely different. Immortality what? is different from eternality. No, I didn't say it's eternal. I, I know, I'm, eternal. This, this is what I'm stating. I'm saying to you, the essence of the divine yeah, yes. is eternality. Okay, something else, immortality is something Kalam, completely Kalam. different. Eternal is one essence, one nature. It's one essence, yeah. Immortality is one nature. The omniscience is another nature. So See, all these, no, no, these these are different attributes. These are attributes. No, no, hold on. The Omnis attributes are what defines a person. Okay, these, you exactly, need to realize exactly. this. Exactly. See, and that's what I'm saying. That is dealing, what constitutes the essence. When we're dealing with philosophy, okay, you have something here called yeah. the essence, okay. Then you have something. Okay, define else. essence to me. Bob. Then you have something else called the attributes, okay. These are the properties that this being actually holds. It's not the being itself. It's the properties that it holds. So, for example, your you know, your jacket, okay. Your jacket has the property or the attribute of being brown. By itself, its inner nature, it's not brown, but it's a property that's been added onto it. Do you understand that? By nature, so complicated. are you saying by nature? This is philosophy, this wait, is philosophy. Wait, wait. Earlier, we, we had agreed upon that nature, sorry, essence yep. doesn't exist without the person. You need some kind of philosophical yes? understanding. Now, now, if the person is different, is the essence not different? The law is one. So if the person is different, okay. if the person is distinct from one so, another... So what you're, what you're doing it now, yeah, because you're understanding it in the terms of um, personhood as in another physical entity. This isn't a, say, a physical entity, this is one entity, okay, that can have, how can I put it, um, has the substance. Let me try to do it, let me try to do it, let me try to do it a very easy way for you to understand, yeah? Tiny I need to do, no, I need to do it a very easy way. I'm trying to think of a way how you understand so I can actually explain it to you. So for example, Allah, yeah? Now, are you talking about the Trinity or Allah? No, I'm, I'm giving it to you in, as an analogy. No, no, because analogy. they're two different things. Okay. Allah is not oh, the let Trinity. Me, let me ask you a question. Is yeah. Allah the same God as uh, the Jewish God and the Christian God? Allah is not the Trinity. Is Allah... The I'm no, answering, no, I'm that's answering. That's fine, that's fine. Can I answer? But you ask I have, a question. I have a yes or no, yes or no. No, it's not a yes, I'll not answer okay, the way you want. Okay. First and foremost, the Christians do not believe in, uh, sorry, in a Unitarian God. They believe in a Trinitarian God. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the Jewish people and the Muslims, they believe in a Unitarian monotheistic God. So for example, the Jewish person, there's a rabbi, a very famous rabbi, uh, Rabbi Moshe Ben uh, Maimun, who said that it is, uh, he, he basically allowed Muslim, sorry, uh, the Jewish people to pray in the masjids. So if you do not find a synagogue, they, they permit them to pray in the masjids. They mm -hmm. will not let them, per, they will not permit them to pray in the church. For this reason, because what the Christians claim as being monotheistic, they are not truly monotheistic in the Islamic and the Jewish understanding of what monotheism is, which is a Unitarian God, not a, tri, not a Trinitarian God. 
The reason I asked you about the difference between the essence and the hypostasis, or the oasis and the hypostasis here, is that because you see, you cannot have essence by itself. It is linked intrinsically to the person. It's linked to the being. Hold on, hold on. Yes. You know what the creed says? The creed of the Trinity yep. states very clearly the Father mm. is not the Son. Yep, you said they were one entity. Yep. They are not one entity. The okay. Father is not the Son, means it's a separate entity. Okay. Are you with it's me? It's a separate um, hypostasis, yes. No, yeah, it's a separate person and a separate entity. But it's the same It's the same divinity. It's not the same divinity. It's I'll the same you, divinity, I'll but it's you. separate essence. Okay. Separate um, Look, hypostasis, sorry. If it's divinity, yep. then you... I, when you say the same divinity, what do you mean by that? Okay, so let me uh, let me uh, explain to you. Okay, because so the Father got, is not the Son. So, so let me explain to you. You divinity. have something here called essence, okay? And I'm giving you a dictionary definition of what essence actually means for those who who are confused Fine, about okay. this. So we utilize in philosophy here. It says the inward nature, true substance, nature. or constitution of anything, Thank as you. opposed to what is accidental, phenomenal, illusory, etc. Okay. So it's nature. You heard that? Is a nature of the, the person, the inward, eternal, yeah, the inward. inward nature. So the inward so, nature of God is He's eternal, He's omniscient, He's uh, immortal, no. He's almighty. No. These are the inward nature no, the of only, God. The only you one, cannot have a the God. Only, the only one that worked right there, yeah. okay, is actually um, eternality, omniscient, yeah, i.e., knowing things. Yes. That means that if you know something, you must have the attribute of knowledge. You dig what I'm saying? To know something, you must have knowledge. Therefore, you must possess knowledge. Therefore, it's an attribute. It's something that you possess. So, you're so saying omniscience comes afterwards. That comes in towards um, the, the the actual personification, the actual the actual attribute. Why didn't you look up the definition of attribute? I'm, I'm giving it to you. No, no, give, read okay. the definition of attribute. I'll, I'll give it to you right you, now. Just like I said, nature and essence are what, what uh, basically, nature of a person is his essence, which is exactly what the definition you mentioned said it intrinsically mentioned it's spe sorry specifically mentioned the word nature because the nature of a person yep, yep, your nature, omniscience yep. god's omniscience is his nature it is not something that is outside his nature you can call it attribute if you want look up the definition of attribute attribute defines the nature of the person yes for example if you are a human being as you are a man there are certain attributes which define you from distinguish you from a woman yes that nature of yours that attribute of yours distinguishes you from a woman no one will call you a woman if that uh, if for example that nature of yours is not that of a woman so for example one of the uh, very clear uh, identification scientifically speaking as well is the women have an xy chromosome yes Sorry, is a, a man. The man who has XY chromosome and the woman has an XX chromosome, which clearly distinguishes them from a male and a female. No one can take. You can change your sex. You can change. You cannot change your chromosomes. So that is something established. Okay. So now look up the word attribute. What Put does it right say? Here. So attribute is to regard as resulting from a specified cause, considered considered as caused by something indicated. So that's a different. There must be more than one definition of that. There is loads. Would you, yeah. do, would you like to choose the one that best suits you? Oh, so read the next one. Okay. Uh, to consider as a quality or characteristic of the person, yes. thing, group, etc. Indicated, he attributed intelligence to his colleagues. So you see, attribute? Yeah, attributed. It's something that's given to someone. Characteristics. So yes. one of the characteristics of God is what? That he has knowledge and that knowledge is omniscient. That he has knowledge of everything. Yes, that's yes. an attribute of God. No, but it's also the characteristics of God. And this is the nature. When you say characteristic, it is okay. basically the nature of the person, okay. of the entity, of the, of, of okay. for example, one of the nature. Uh, we're talking about the, the underlying substance, okay? No, what we're makes talking God, about what defines okay. it. Exactly, the underlying says what makes God God. Where you're having confusion, where I'm seeing like, when I'm seeing my Christians debating with my Muslims, yeah? Bear, bear with me for a second. When I see my Christians debating with my Muslims, yeah. I'm thinking like, you lot are saying, you lot believe in exactly the same thing, but you lot come up with different results. What do I mean by this is this. Do you testify to the fact that Allah has speech, a word? Yeah, Allah speech. Allah has speech. Yes. Allah has speech. Yep. Yes. Do you also testify that Allah has a spirit or a soul? Allah has a spirit or a soul. Yeah. No, no, we don't testify that. Allah, don't... We do not have any evidence that Allah has spirit or Allah has soul. Okay. Does He have a nafs? Allah has a nafs. Where's the evidence for that? <laughs> because what you're doing is you're trying to look at Allah as a human being, as a person. Allah says in the Quran, "Laysa kamisli ishayyan." There is nothing like unto Allah. Yes, and that excludes everything that you define of a human being. The reason, the reason you're doing this kalam is because you probably come from the same background as the Christians do. So when they look at God, they try to figure it out in, in terms of a man. And that is the reason they say that human being, 
God basically exists as a human being in the form of Jesus Christ. Okay. So this is God coming down, incarnating as a man. Okay. And so that's the way they can. That's the only way they can relate to so God. So you're saying that Allah has no nafs. Okay. So I'm going to go to Quran six verse twelve. Yeah? yeah. Say to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and earth. Say to Allah, He has decreed upon Himself mercy. He will surely assemble you for the day of resurrection. And then it continues. Okay. When it says here Himself, this is talking about nafs. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, okay. wait, wait, what's, what's up? When you say nafs, yeah. yes, do you know that nafs is basically, what is nafs? Define nafs. What do you mean? What, define well, define nafs. nafs, yeah. Nafs means your personhood, yourself, your um, your spirit. It has various different meanings of what nafs means. Okay. Go ahead. So when he says Allah himself, yeah. yes, what you're doing is you're not talking about the, what do you say? I think you're talking about the consciousness. Isn't that what you're talking about? The nafs. You tell me what I'm talking about. Because that's what you are somehow trying to say that the spirit is also nafs. The spirit is not the nafs. Yes. The nafs here is your will, for example. Yes? That's I've got loads of quotes here yeah, that talks, Allah talks about his nafs. Yeah. So, so when you say, are, when you you say gonna, are, you, are you going to say that Allah has no nafs? No, because the nafs that does you're talking about... Does Allah have a nafs? Yes oh, or no? Hold on. The nafs that you're talking about, you use, you included spirit in that, soul in that. Am I right? Spirit or soul? Yes. Because you can translate because spirit, that is nafs not, into spirit that is or not soul. Nafs. Okay. So Allah does, has a will. If that does, is what you does, want to ask. Does Allah has nafs? Yes or no? Allah has a will. Does Allah have a nafs? Yes or no? If 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 it's will, yes. Does Allah have a nafs? I, I just, just want told to know. you. Yes or no? Just, just like I said, I don't answer yes no. the way you want. Yes or no? Different okay. reading of nafs. Okay. Then Different the word reading. nafs here, if if that is what, if you're talking about the will, then Allah has a will. Okay, so there is there is first. And by the way, in Christianity, God has God and Jesus have different wills. Are you aware of that? Okay, so, there, so even in essence, it doesn't work out. Okay, by the way, people talk about. Can I continue? Can I continue? Yeah. So, for example, you have in different hadiths here that Allah says, "I write, I prescribe, I actually yeah, took, will. took my hand and inscribed upon my nafs." Yeah, with his will. Mercy. With his will. Show us the evidence. Show us where he says that nafs. In this, okay, give me the ayah. Which ayah is that? 612, there's, there's quite a few of them there actually. Yeah. To be but if it's a will you're talking about, then that is a because what you're trying to sorry, what you, what I want to get away from or what I want to avoid yeah. is that you're trying to use the word nafs in the same same uh, sense as spirit or soul. Which, if it is a will, look, okay. if you're talking about okay. nafs in the context of a will, then yes, Allah has a will. Is that clear? So, listen, by the way, should listen. we get back on track? Because it looks like we have uh, yeah, moved we, away from we, we, the, got, away the original because, topic. Because, is, because it seems that you don't the, understand. The original this. topic so is about to Tawheed. Can we I'm get say, back to yeah, that? Yeah, what I'm saying to you is this. Yeah, Allah has both a nafs and he also has a, um, uh, a kalam, a speech as well. Yes. The Christians say that Jesus is the kalam, okay? The speech, the word of Allah, right? That's what Christians say. Christians also acknowledge that uh, the Holy Spirit, okay? Wait, 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 hold on. Can I just stop you there? Go ahead. When you say, the Christians say, Jesus is the speech, yep. Jesus Christ is the speech, yep. are you telling me the Father cannot speak without Jesus? I'm saying that he is the speech of no, Allah. No, no, answer my question. Can the Father speak without Jesus? No. Can Does the Father have his own voice? Okay. Can, I, can, I, can I talk to you? Yes, yes, please. Okay, so now, we're now speaking about something completely different. No, same, Father, Son, Let and me, Holy can, Spirit, can I explain the Trinity. You why? Can I explain to you why? Yes. Okay, because Jesus is a person in a, a space and time. Jesus only existed 2,000 years ago. But we're talking about his, his speech, which is this Logos. The Logos came down at that period of time, 2,000 years ago. But the Logos was pre-existing in heaven, supposedly. Are you with me? Because in the beginning of John, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word, um, through the Word, everything was formed, etc., and the Word became flesh. So the Word was pre-existing. You didn't understand my question, did you? What did I understand? Okay, let me use the word Logos. If you like the word Logos, yeah, go fair ahead. enough. Okay. Go ahead. Can, does God the Father, is God the Father able to speak without the Logos? Is God the Father able to speak without the Logos? Yes. Okay. It, if, 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 if the Father does not have Logos, then it's not God. That was my question. Can he speak without okay. the Logos? Which part of that okay. question don't you understand? Simple question. Because you don't understand it. And by you're the not, way, I don't want a yes or no. You don't understand it. You can it. give me an answer any okay. you want. Okay, let me, let me show you this. Yeah. How can Allah speak without don't, his Kalam? No, don't go to Allah. Answer with that's, regards that's to the Trinity. No, it's, it's about the Trinity. Kalam, it's about the Trinity. Okay, okay. It's, it's, do you it's, remember during This is what I'm saying to you. How can somebody speak without the ability to speak? It's ah, impossible. So you're saying the Father doesn't have the ability to speak without the Logos? I'm saying to you, yeah, exactly that. <laughs> exactly that. You need okay. the Logos in order to speak. There you go. So we have confirmed this, and I doubt very much the Christians will agree with Kalam because I know he's not a Christian. He can, he's prone to make mistakes. But you see, during the baptism, who spoke? Go ahead. He is my beloved son. Mm -hmm. Who spoke? Go ahead. 
You tell me. You go know, ahead. you ahead. seem to be arguing from the Christian perspective. I want to know if go you're ahead. even aware of their of their own of the sorry of the Christian scripture. Mm -hmm. Because if you look during the baptism of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. yes, which happened when the dove came in the uh, sorry when the Holy Spirit came in the form of the dove and Jesus was baptized by the, uh, John the Baptist and they heard a voice. Whose voice was this? Was this Jesus's voice? Was this the second person of the Trinity? Was this the Logos? Absolutely not. Ask any Christian and they'll tell you that was the Father speaking. So according to Christians, the Father is able to speak. In fact, it is both Jesus and the Holy Spirit who require permission to speak. If you go to John 14 and John 16, yes, it says the Holy Spirit will not speak, sorry, the, uh, the paraclete will not speak of his own. Yes, he will say what he hears and he will not say anything otherwise which shows that even the Holy Spirit doesn't have the permission to speak without the permission of Almighty God, the Father. Jesus says, what I preach is not of my own, but it's from the one who sent me. Again, Jesus himself is claiming here that he cannot even preach the gospels that you hear. All the Bible, all the words of Jesus in the Bible is not his own, he's saying is but of the one who sent him. Again, telling you that he cannot speak without the Father's permission. So the Father definitely speaks. Kalam, you're wrong over there. Okay. So, so now let's get back to the Tawheed, the, which I think we should get down to because the Tawheed, like I said, is not the Trinity. Tawheed is come from the root word Wahid. Wahid means one, not plural. Similarly, when we talk in uh, Deuteronomy 6.4, when he says here, O Israel, your Lord God is one, go ask any Jewish person. If they translate this to be a, to be anything other than the oneness of God. Ask them if there is any plurality in that and they'll definitely categorically refuse. Because you see, the Old Testament, you do not have anyone advocating the Trinity. Neither do you have anyone in the New Testament advocating the Trinity. The reason they had to establish this doctrine in the fourth century, nearly 325 years after Jesus, is because this doctrine was not found in explicitly mentioned anywhere in the Bible and I don't mean the word Trinity I mean the concept is itself is lacking in the entire Old and the New Testament okay excellent excellent um, Hashim now everything that you just said there is completely halfway false and I'll explain to you why it's halfway false okay? tell me which bit is false okay so now you saying that it's not actually within inside of those different places it actually is there so sorry what is not inside the um, concept of Trinity is actually embedded inside really? of the text itself okay. Show me so, for I, example, so for example so for example so for example okay um, in the beginning okay we're going to Genesis number one yeah it tells you that the Spirit of God was doing what you tell me, you're the it one holding it. It was hovering over the waters, okay? So you have the first element right there, the spirit, okay? The Ruh of God actually hovering over the waters. And in order for God to create, he said, let there be this. He was utilizing his dabar, his speech, in order to create things. All the three parts of the Trinity is actually inside of the beginning of Genesis itself. Now, if you go to the Jews themselves, yeah, they actually acknowledge yeah, the, tri, um, the, the three principles of the Trinity, equating it to be the Godhead. Whoa, whoa. You said the Jewish? Yeah, they do. Can you quote one rabbi who said that? Okay, they do. So now can if you quote you, anyone? Okay, can I finish first? Yes, please. Can I finish first? So now if you go into... Because you're making a claim and you need to substantiate it. Not okay. just make a claim and then expect us to just take nope. a hook, line and sinker. No problem, no problem. Okay. So if you go into um, Jewish uh, texts here, they'll teach you about the Dabr. They'll also teach you about the uh, Shekinah, which is also known as the Ruach, the Ruach Kadesh. And they'll also teach you about um, the Elohim or the power itself. Okay, these are the three principles that's actually relevant inside of the text. You can find it inside of Genesis itself. You can find it throughout the Psalms. You can find it in various different places. You can also find it within inside of the works of Philo, Philo, sorry, which is a first century uh, Jewish. Um, he was a great, one of the greatest philosophers. I ain't gonna lie to you. He's one of the greatest philosophers, and he explains it all the way through. Yeah, the majority of his texts, the Jews actually acknowledge this. Now, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna charge you lot to do this. Yeah, go and do your research. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't wait, tell wait. me to do this. I'm not talking. You bring I'm not, the substantiation. I'm not, to, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the cameras right now. No, but okay? wait, 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 you're having, talk, a, you're having a debate with me. Yeah, but right now, I'm talking to the cameras. And I asked you for substantiating yeah, right now, right it. Right so now. What you're doing now is that right. you made a claim you and you want people to go and find the evidence for that. Seriously, Kalam, that's not the way it works. I'm giving them the information that they need. I'm giving them the information. I'm actually telling them, I want you guys to go and check this out. You want them to do your research? My friend, just, just, just have some patience with me. Okay? No, but I will just have patience with you. Some, but what you're doing now is that like you have, have shifted your debate from me have some to patience, the camera. Have some patience with me. What I'm saying here is this, yeah? I want everybody else here to go go and do your research, okay? Do it, listen, do your research, yeah? I, all I want you to do is just type in on Google. You can do it as simple as this. 
I'm going to do it as simple as this, yeah, because I know most of you guys here yeah, don't have the ability or not, or don't oh, want to God, actually go away and do the research. everyone now. No, I'm being real with Seriously. you. I'm being real with you. Because I'm sure, yeah, you haven't gone off and, and studied certain things that Bob has said. Because I've seen you week on week on week, yeah. Really? Never give me really, one thing that I haven't I've responded really, to Bob. I've God. never really researched exactly what Bob okay, is saying. Give me yeah. one thing so I haven't, what I want to say to you is this, go and check what the Jew is, yeah, especially the Kabbalah. Okay, I think he doesn't want to have a debate now. I am. You have gone to the camera. I'm giving them information. Why don't you give me the information? I asked you for the information. The reason why I'm giving them the information is because I want them to benefit. Do you have the information? Yeah, Kalam, Do you have the information? Of course, I got the information. This is why I'm giving them the information. No, you're telling them to Google it. Why don't you Google it and tell me what the information is? My brother. Do you have the ability to Google? Okay. Because just now you call, okay. you, you basically made fun of so this, many this people do. saying do. they don't have the ability this, to research. This is what we do. Seriously, this is what we do. Can you do research? Shakina. This is what I'll do. Google. There you go, Shakina. This is what you need to do. Yeah. What does right? it say? Go on. There what does Siri tell you? All right. If anyone says that there is a Trinity, the way the Christians believe in the Trinity in Genesis one, then he hasn't got the ability what I, what to I would understand love for, what Genesis one is what saying. What I would love for you guys to do, yeah, is go just type there in. Goes again. Go and Google it, guys. That's his method. Seriously. My, Kalan, me my method Kalan, is giving evidence. I asked you to substantiate. My method is giving evidence. I just wanted you to, to do this. This okay. is Looks this like is this is very simple to do. What you have to do is just go Google Wikipedia Shakina. But after that, here you can go into a bit deeper research. You can go into texts like the Midrash. You can go into texts like Moses Maimonides, uh, the Guide to the Perplexed, yeah, where this is explained even further. You can go into the Zohar. You can also go into Moshe Maimonides believes in the Trinity. Are you serious? Moses Maimonides, yeah. Did also... he believe in the Trinity like the way Christians believe in the Trinity? Okay, not the way... Are you serious? Okay, not the way that Christians believe in the so Trinity. What kind of Trinity they do they believe in? Tell me. I just want to know. Just, just calm down. Nobody. Yeah, calm down, calm but down, I just down. want to know. Calm down for what a kind second. of Trinity? Because calm down for a second. You're okay. trying to imply so, earlier Genesis okay. has all three members of the Trinity. Okay. He said that, didn't he? He said all three members. Of, now he's yes. saying they don't believe in the same kind of Trinity. He so said, please tell us Christ what kind of Trinity. Should I tell you why they don't believe in the same thing? Why? Why they don't believe in it? Why? Because they have it from a purely uh, philosophical understanding, where the Christians now have a physical manifestation of it in the form of Jesus Christ. Wait, what, what do you mean by philosophical? Are you saying Moses? Explain to them philosophically, okay. not theologically. So this is what I'm going to do again. All you need to do, yeah, is Google. No, no, this, this is it. This is it. This is it. I'm, I'm going to answer your question. I'm answering your question. Kalam, Kalam, Kalam. Kalam. I want to know what is a, what is the three yeah. kinds of my, my, what is see, see, what is me a, here. Yeah, I want to educate people. That's no, you're not. I want to educate people. You're, you're, don't try to shut me down. Don't try to shut me down. I am the one who's giving them information. But you're having a debate with me. Yes, stop, stop. I'm telling you, yeah. You can go right now, yeah, and type in the tree of life, yeah. Stop, 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 stop. You bring the evidence. Tree of life. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, this is what you do. You do Tree your Googling, life. give me the answer. Tree of life, yeah. Can you do you that? Have Tree of life, you have something called in, in Kabbalah, yeah? Tree of life. You have the top three principles, yeah? Which is the Keter, which means the crown, okay? You also have the other principles such as... We're talking about all this. We're talking about the Tawheed. What happened to that? This is it. This, this is not it. You're not understanding. Tawheed is not Genesis 1. You're not okay? understanding. You're no. not understanding. But stop, stop trying to shut me down and let I'm me not explain to down. everybody calm what down, I'm talking calm about. Calm down, You're getting all agitated. Calm down. <laughs> Kalam. You are Kalam. funny, you know. Kalam. You are funny. Listen, you listen, are actually listen. funny. You said the, Kalam, sorry, the spirit is hovering over the water. Did you say that? Yes. The spirit. Okay. Uh, let me ask you this. At that time, who was in the form of spirit? The Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? He's talking about the Holy Spirit, right? Okay. Not the Father. What form was Father in? The fa okay. Now we have to go into this, yeah? Of now the Father is, is what we would consider to be consciousness or the mind or the will itself. That is the Father the Spirit? A spirit? Okay, the Father itself, in, in terms of his hypostasis, is not this spirit in terms of the Holy Spirit. No, in, no. Terms in, terms, in terms of invisibility or immateriality, then it is a spirit, but not in the sense of the Holy Spirit. In terms of his oasis, was it oasis? Oasis is yes. essence, yes. yes. In terms of his oasis, was he spirit? In terms of his oasis, he is not spirit. Okay, the in, in the sense of the Holy Spirit, it's spirit. In I didn't ask you in the sense of Holy Spirit. Okay, because no, 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 no. what you're doing right now, yeah, what, what, what I'm what I'm fearing is what people may not understand here. Yeah, uh -huh. is something called equivocation. Equivocation, where you're utilizing certain words, yeah, to try to trap somebody else, but it's not going to work with me. What I'm saying to you is, the term spirit can literally mean invisibility. It's something that's not material. Okay. It's incorporeal. Okay. So yes, okay. the Father okay. is incorporeal, but it's not the Holy Spirit. I didn't say does it was that. Does that make sense? I to you? never. I, I said, just want to know. Does that make sense to you? That's first? called straw man argument okay. because I never said. He was the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. So your equivocation is completely wrong. I'm, I'm saying what you're doing is what you're doing is you're, you're strawmanning me. Go ahead. I never said he was the Holy Spirit. If the if the Holy Spirit is in the form of a spirit, mm -hmm. if the is the Son, by the way, what form was the Son? It was in the uh, form of human. It's immaterial yet yeah, again. No. Human. It's, no. Immaterial. So, so spirit, race. Immaterial. Spirit. 
you can utilize that. Thank you. So the Holy Spirit was spirit. The Son was spirit. What was the form of the Father? I just told you. Human? Material. Again, spirit. There's, there's so no, all three no... of them, they existed as spirit. Now, why does he say it was only the Holy Spirit who was hovering over the water when the Bible verse doesn't say Holy Spirit? It says the Spirit hovered over the water. And by the way, the earth was white, formless. Where was the water? Okay. Where was the water? Like yes, question? answer that question. Where's yep. the water? Yeah. It says in there. It says it's hovering over the water. Yep. If the earth was formless, yep. where was the water? The water was not formed yet. But you said it's hovering I mean, sorry, over sorry, the sorry. water. Stop, stop, stop. The earth was not formed yet. I agree. There you go. Yes. So, it's so where was the water then? Okay. Now, yeah. Would you would you like to go into this? Because I know because this yes. might lose your head. This might lose. Your I head. want to go in it. You, you like to know? You can lose your head, okay. but you won't lose mine. All right, perfect, perfect. <laughs> there perfect. you go. Perfect. Go on. So now, yeah. The, remember, the earth was without form, and it says the spirit is hovering over the water. Now I want to know where exactly is the water because we have already established it cannot be the Holy Spirit only hovering over that water mm -hmm. because all three of them, all three persons of the Trinity, were in the spirit form. They were not in human form or any other form, but in spirit form. Spirit, yes. If I am wrong, please correct me because this is what I understand from the conversation so far. Okay. And then we have the we have this spirit. I don't know whose spirit it was because it's a singular spirit. It is the spirits. Singles, one spirit was hovering over the water. Remember, the earth was formless. Okay. So tell me where's the water? Where was where was the water floating? Okay, cool, perfect. So now, just as the um, the Jews and the Christians have this concept of the water and the spirit and so forth hovering over it, the the Muslims also have the same concept. Why do I say the Muslims have the same concept? Because where is Allah? Allah is above His throne. Where is His throne? It's above the waters. Okay, it's the same concept. Stop, in, stop, 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 stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. This, Genesis this, one. This is this is exactly. Genesis 1. Yes. This is exactly Genesis 1. This is exactly no, your... This formless. Stop. Where's yeah. the water? Why? I, I want to know something here. Yeah. Why is it every single time I'm you're here... The topic. Stop. Stop. You're Why is it every the single time I'm slam. here at every Speaker's time Corner, every single time I'm here at Speaker's Corner, yeah, I give <laughs> my interlocutor the actual no, no, efficacy no, no. No, of keeping my mouth quiet when they're speaking. But anytime I have to speak, you will always have to speak over me. You don't need to stop it. It's bad manners. You know what's bad manners? It's bad manners. When no, you're talking about, about a topic, manners. you change the topic. That is bad manners. I'm giving you no, an example. No, you talk about Islam. I'm giving you, you an example. You're talking about Genesis 1-1. Okay, Genesis 1-1 and, and the, and the Muslim's the water? understanding of Genesis as well, where of creation, was is the exactly water? the same. Where was the water? Okay. If the earth is formless, where was the water? Okay. Answer that question without changing the topic. I will let you carry on as long as you don't change the topic because what you're doing is too quack quack. Okay. Another fallacy. Okay, there, there is no, there is not nowhere at this particular moment in time. There is not nowhere. The waters is all that there is. It's the time when the consciousness comes outside of the waters or outside of, 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 um, of non-movement and now comes above and starts controlling things and start calling things into existence. Are you saying that water was there but no, you don't know it's, where? No, it's not literal water. That's ah, the problem. It's not literal water. Okay, so just, the same, just the same way, yeah, it's not a literal... I hope, I hope it's not a literal throne that you guys believe in, though. Don't you I the do, topic? No, I'm showing you something. The topic is not about the throne. Something. The topic is not about the I'm showing you something. I hope it's not a literal throne that you lot believe somebody is carrying as well. I hope it's not that. It's, it's, it's actually metaphysical principles as being elucidated. Okay. So you're saying the water was not literally H2O water? It's not literally H2O water, no. Okay, so what is it? I don't even want to go there with you because I can Why? already tell you that you're you're Why? on you're on a stream here. Yeah, Why are you always being personal to me? Okay, cause, cause I, I asked you a what, simple question see, about the water. I can see you're saying I can't understand it. I can see what you're doing already. So I'll, I'll rather. I think you're cornered yourself and should be where you should move on. I would rather That's not. Fine. I'd rather not go there. Tell him I know when a person is defeated listen, and cornered listen. and they change topic. This is exactly no, what the Christian missionaries do. No. Every time they're cornered, they change the topic. Okay, I'm asking. I'm asking you where am I? Where am I cornered? I'm not even defeated. I'm not even cornered nowhere. I'm explaining things to you, but you're interrupting every single time you know what can you just wait and let me explain you already you? you already said that the holy spirit was a spirit the father was a spirit the son was a spirit can i ask you because it's only mentioned one spirit which spirit was hovering over this uh spiritual water whatever you call it okay it's talking about the holy spirit which, how do you know that how do i know this is that when we go inside of the um text such as the midrash treks and the and the um the rabbinical text itself okay that the jews provide you they will give you the extra commentary of what it's actually talking about and that's how i know what they're talking about have you read it yes i have okay so why do you say it's the holy spirit because what have you read from those midrash 
that confirms that this is the Holy Spirit. By the way, is it the third person of the Trinity that the Christians believe in? Okay, so it would be equivalent, okay? Because I'm now talking about what the Jewish understanding is, okay. now we're talking about the Christian understanding. Yeah, of course. So we now to. I'm saying to you, it would be equivalent of what the Christians call the Holy Spirit, yes. Okay, so you're saying what the Jewish, when they read Genesis 1-1, mm -hmm. they understand this is the Holy Spirit, which is the third person of the Trinity, as the Christians believe in. Do the Jewish people believe in the Holy Spirit as God? Do the, do the Jewish people believe in the Holy Spirit as God? They believe, okay, not all of them. I'm not going to speak on, on holistic. No, I'm not going course. to talk about holistic. Let's talk about the mainstream Jews. Okay, can I finish? Yes. Okay. They, they say that it's also a, um, a, a co sub or it's a substance, one of the substances of God, yes. So you're, you're saying the Jewish it's, people, it's the, the mainstream Godhead. Jews, yeah. the mainstream Jews, yeah, yeah. yes? Mm -hmm. So if I go walk into any synagogue and ask them, do you believe that the Holy Spirit is God? Uh, you're telling me that they'll say yes. Yes. Okay, it's, that's a lie, the, by the way. It's the, Unless he can substantiate that okay. from the Bidrash or from the from the from the Bible, what he's saying is just rubbish okay. and BS. Okay, now remember, I asked him for substantiation. He hasn't given us any references from any rabbis, from any synagogue, or from anywhere from the mainstream Jewish rabbis. That's scholars, whatsoever. As far as I know, what I'm saying is this, that the Jewish people believe in oneness of God, as it says in Deuteronomy 6.4, it says here, Israel, your Lord God is one. The Jewish people do not believe in a trinity. Okay. They do not believe the Holy Spirit is God or the Son is God, for sure. They don't even consider the Son to be, sorry, uh, Jesus Christ to be the Christ, to be the Messiah. Okay. They're still waiting for the Messiah. Okay. So there's no way they believe, they believe in a triune God, like the way the Christians do. All right, so this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to do this for the cameras. Okay, cameras, just zoom in on that, please. Zoom in on that. What is it? Zoom Read in on it that. For us. I, I will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Just zoom in on that real quickly. I'm going to teach, show you something that Jews actually acknowledge. And can you give us a reference for the Jews yeah, I will who do. acknowledge this? I will do. Kabbalah. Okay. Okay. I, I asked him about the mainstream Jews, Kabbalah. and he brings in Kabbalah. This, this is this is this came from the very very first early centuries, first century, second century, third century, fourth century. Okay. It's something that they may not teach publicly to external people, but they all understand this. So this is not the mainstream Jews. Let me finish anyway. Are they the mainstream? Let me finish. Jews? I just want to know that. Let me finish. I, I don't know what you classify as mainstream Jews. To be honest with you, so I don't, I don't know. So, anyways, yeah, over here, yeah, you will see that this is what they call the Godhead right here. These three things right here. Over here, I'm going to actually um, say to you, this right here is called Keter, which literally means a throne, okay, or a crown, sorry, yeah? This is the head of everything. Then over here is something called the Hekma, okay, or the Hekma, right here, which what is like, the, means like wisdom, basically, yeah? And then over so is here... is it writing or is it, is it writing? Let me, let me finish, yeah? Okay. And then over here, you've got something here, yeah, which is called Baina, okay, which is more like understanding, okay? And these are the three parts here of what the Christians understand to be the Trinity, not in its manifest form, in its philosophical form. Okay, so the crown is what de determines its will, the consciousness, the decision, the deciding factor, basically. Then you have something else, which is hechma, which is also wisdom. Wisdom, yeah? Wisdom, which can actually be two ways, depending on who, which school of thought you go to, it's talking about the speech of, of God itself. Then you have the next one, which is the baina, which means literally the wisdom, the understanding, which is, which is another, sorry, which Isn't is another way. Hikmah means wisdom. It, I know, but depending on which school of thought you go to, they will say the Hikmah is the, is the Holy Spirit, or they will also say Hikmah is the Dabr, which means Jewish, the speech. Jewish as school well. of thought. Jewish, Jewish school of thought. So it's, it's depending on... What are they called, the two? So we can it depend, it. Depending on which way you go, yeah, they will give you a different understanding. One meaning the Holy Spirit, the other one meaning the speech, yeah? I mean, what are but the it's two, the same... What are the two, sorry, just a quick question. What are the two separate schools of thoughts um, that we can uh, differentiate? I, from the top of my head, I don't know right now. Oh. I'm gonna tell you. I'm not, I'm not gonna okay. say anything to you. So one is so a hikma, one is a throne. So what, What's the third one? What hikma, I'm, throne, and hikma, baina, which means like understanding. Understanding of what? Just understanding, like being able to rationalize things. Isn't that what wisdom is? No. No. That's something else. Can you have wisdom without understanding? So you, this here hikma is talking more like logic being able to reason it's the logos principle basically yeah, but that's whereas hikmah okay. is actually being able to have the wisdom of execution and so forth okay, which so is what how the spirit, does that relate the spirit has the wisdom of execution okay so what i'm saying to you is how here, does that relate stop, to stop, the stop, christian stop, stop, trinity stop, stop this i'm giving it to you right now yeah. so you have these three parts here which equates here to the godhead which equates to yahweh or the one the godhead itself you dig what I'm saying? So they do have these three principles that makes up the one Godhead. Now, how does it relate to the Christians themselves? They also have the same principle, okay? They have the principle of the Father being the, the, the will itself, the one that determines things. 
the one that determines things itself, yeah? Then they have the second principle, which is the logos, which could which could equate to the vena, meaning the ability to reason and rationalize things, which is the which would be in its manifested form, Jesus Christ. Then you have the third principle, which is the Holy Spirit, which is also called to be the, the hikmah or the wisdom wisdom itself. You use Holy Spirit twice. You forgot the sun. I didn't. I didn't. I told you, I told you that. So the sun is what, hikmah? I or said, is it the I understanding? Said you, I said to you, the vena would be the logical reason and understanding, which, which is, could be equated to the logos itself, which would be in its manifested form, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm not saying that the Jews go that far and, and, and jump towards that angle of understanding. And I told you what the Holy Spirit would be, which would be hikmah or wisdom itself. Okay, so you're telling me that this, the understanding of the Jewish, for yep. example, Jesus Christ as a logos, yep. is just restricted to the, uh, their rationalization. The rationalize the, the ability to, to rationalize, the ability to speak and make things manifest. By the way, do you know that the Christians believe in the atonement through the Son? So it's not just the rationalization, the whole idea of Jesus coming. I'm, I'm not talking about Jesus, I'm talking Kalam, about the Kalam, Logos Kalam. itself. Let me finish. Logos yep. came as what? As flesh. In flesh, yeah. Logos became flesh. Yep. Do the Jews believe this? No. Good. So we're not talking about the same thing. Thank you very much. After all that fuffing around, we are not talking about the same thing. We are talking about two different things. Did I make? Did I already make the distinction that but, this is not what the? This is why I said the physical manifestation. The Jews do not hold on to that. They hold on to the philosophical understanding. No, but even where, the, where, whereas the, the the Christians have made the the um, abstract into material in the form of Jesus, the, the Jews do not do the same thing. Okay, so can we confirm that Genesis one one? Huh? In Genesis one one, in in Genesis one one, there is yeah. no reference to Jesus. In, in reference, I'm not talking about, I told you again, Jesus is somebody that took place 2,000 years ago. That's a, a specific point. Do you want point. to use the word Logos? Fine. Okay, so in the Genesis logos, 1, 1. Yes. In yes. Genesis 1, yeah, yes. the principle of speech, yeah, of creating via speech is clearly there. Yes. Okay. So I think he's forgotten what I told him earlier. Can the father not speak? Okay. What I'm saying to you is, yeah, all three of them, yeah. All right. Let me, let me try, let me try like this with you. Okay. You have a mind, okay? You have a mind that has a will factor, then you have the ability to reason and so forth, yeah? And you speak. And speak and so yeah. forth, yeah? If your mind, yeah, doesn't tell your 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 tongue to speak, yeah, how can it speak? How many, how many if, persons am I? Am I one person or more than one person? Obviously, as a one person, I'll have one will, one, it depends. one ability to speak and one ability to, uh, sorry, an ability to speak and ability to reason. Okay. In the case of the Trinity, we have three persons. It depends the on person, how you're, wait, how wait, you're, wait how a you're minute, Kalam, Kalam, try to understand the question first. It looks like you didn't understand the question. Go ahead. The question I asked you is very simple. In the Trinity concept, the Christian creed, in the Trinity creed of Christianity. My brother. Yes, what's good, what's good, what's good. <laughs> yeah. in, in, the, in the Trinity doctrine yeah. of Christianity, yeah. we have three persons. Yeah. Each person is independent of the other. Each person is distinct from the other. Independent Each from person other. can speak independently. Wait a minute. Independent, not independently. Not independently, yes. Because it says the will of the Father is different from the will of the Son. Yes, Jesus says, I by myself can do nothing. Remember, he was fully God according to the Christians. So you cannot say he was in the Logos then. Yes, because this is the same Logos which became flesh, which is fully God as far as the Christian creed is concerned. This, this creed here is so specifying. Is, is wait, wait, Kalam, let me finish. Let me finish. The reason I say independent is because the creed says they are distinct from one another, which means they are independent of one another. Independent in the sense that each person is independent. He has his own will and ability to speak. Are you with me? Go ahead. Good. So when I say this, the reason I keep asking you is that why do you, why do you insist? Yeah. Why do you insist that it is the uh, it is the logos that is speaking in Genesis one? Unless and until you're telling me that the Father is unable to speak of his own, yes. Then yes, your point will be valid. But the reason you keep saying that it is the logos speaking here and not the Father, I want to know on what basis you're saying this. The only way it can make sense is if the Holy Spirit is unable to speak on his own or the Father is unable to speak at all and only the Logos can speak because without the Logos, these two cannot speak, then yes, your point will make uh, sense. But the fact that the Father is able to speak independently of the Son, in fact, it is a Father who, who gives permission to the Son and the Spirit to speak. Without the permission, they cannot speak. As it says in John 16 and 14, that the Holy Spirit will not speak of his own. 
he will hear and he will speak. He'll say okay. what the father is basically okay. permitted him. So again, again, what I'm going to make sure that everybody here understands, okay, yeah. that there is no independency between the three. Okay, there is no independency between the three. The the will or the father. Dependency. Is, sorry. There's no dependency. Is that what you're trying to say? No independencies. There's what no. Do you, what do you mean? There's no independency. Meaning that the um the, the say let's utilize the son or the or the word itself cannot act without the permission of the will, the father itself. It's impossible. If you do, if you say that they are independent, you're actually creating three gods. I can't remember the actual um term for this, but you're you're literally saying that there's father is a god, the spirit is the Holy Spirit is God, and the son is a god. That's what the creed says. No. The the father is fully God, the no. Son is fully God, no. the Holy Spirit. Have you not read the no. Creed? No, no, so stop, the stop, 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 let me finish. That's if you stop right there, yeah, then that right there is, is what will be considered blasphemy from a church perspective. But that's what the church what, what you're defined doing, the Creed as. What you're doing is making three gods. No, okay? I didn't say that. Look, look, listen to me. Because you're saying the independence. This is God, what the Creed but says. But they are united in one. Yes. They're united yes. in one. So they are and fully God, each is fully God, So what I'm saying but they are not three gods. That's what the Creed says. what I'm saying to you is, yeah, None of them can do things independently of each other. Are you sure? The moment that they do something independently of each other, then it becomes um, uh, blasphemy, basically. Okay. Can the Father act independently of the Son and the Holy Spirit? And if not, why? Okay. The Father acts, first of all, independently, yeah? Then it goes down to the... To the um, oh, so he does act independently. Okay. In, you said none of them act independently. Okay. This, is what I'm said this is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. Independently, in the sense that it makes a command, a will, to do something that passes down into the logos, into the consciousness, into the ability to reason, and then the spirit is the one who's enacting things no, out. No, no, it goes no, no. down. Where's, like where's that. the evidence for that? What do you mean? Where's, where's the evidence for that? What you just said? Okay. Substantiated. Uh, substantiated. Yes. This is how from substanti the Bible. From the, from the Bible. Bible, I'll substantiate Go like on. this. Yeah. Um, of my own accord, I cannot do nothing. You, you basically said it before. I can only do what the Father has said, basically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So the Father wait, decrees wait, wait, something, wait, 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 and then it passes wait, down. Kalam, kalam, kalam. If the Father decrees something, is He doing it independently of the Son and the Holy Spirit? Okay. It, the, the act of the act of, of, of will, yeah, is done independently. No, no. The command given by the Father the, the is act, that independent. The act of will, yeah, is something. Let me try to explain this in a way that you understand. Oh, in order, in order, it has again. to be because you're not understanding it. What do you mean not understand? I'm asking you a simple question. Okay. Does the Father act independently of the Son and the Holy Spirit? Which part of that do you not understand? Simply like this, yeah? In order, in order for me to do this... Why shouting? Calm down. In order for me to do this... Don't need to shout. I know, look, look, look. I'm making an example. In order for me to do this... I'm wiggling my feet, yeah? In order for me to do this, yeah? I must first thought of the act, yeah? Of doing this. Okay, before I even thought of the act of doing that, I must have had the will to do it in the first place. Yeah. So in order for me to do this movement, it went through the three processes of will, um, ability to reason, and the spirit enacting it out into the physical realm. Is your foot another person? Jesus Christ, Nazareth, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's, that's the guy. He's a Christian. <laughs> that's the one we're about. <laughs> I know he comes from the background. Hey, listen, listen. Kalam, like, Kalam, like, Kalam. Please Kalam, don't, don't ask Kalam, me. Don't Kalam, ask me silly questions. Kalam, that's not a silly question. It really because is. your analogy was silly. Unless your analogy was silly, that is a silly question. The reason I ask is a person because you see the creed is very clear. The Father is fully God, the Son is fully God, the Holy Spirit is fully God. They are not three gods, but one God. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Let me finish. And Once then you you're can done ask. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, sure, okay. sure, you can ask. And then he says the Father is not the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not the Son. It shows you that they are distinct from one another. This is what the creed clearly states. Here he's saying that the Father issues the command. And then it has to process somehow to some to the Holy Spirit and then to Jesus or something. No, it doesn't go like that. The Father acts independently. So the Father issues a command. Like it says in John 16 and 14, the Spirit will not speak of its own. What does that tell you? That the Spirit is not independent. Okay, can I speak in a language no, that hopefully you'll understand? Yeah, there you go. Let me speak will in a language. Will you cut out your understanding? Yeah, I, yes? I, I, I will. Because you seem to know, you, you seem to be like a smart aleck here. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, can Stop I... acting smart and be okay. and, and at least make sense. All right, I'm gonna speak in I'm gonna speak in an Islamic paradigm, okay? I'm gonna do this, okay? I want to know from you. From you, yeah? Okay. Are we moving is, on to is, is Allah's spirit? Are we, are we moving on no, from I'm, I'm showing Genesis you what you're, one? I'm showing you what you're saying. Can I finish speaking? Is Allah's spirit eternal? Yes or no? First and foremost, I never said Allah had a spirit. <laughs> the Islamic concept doesn't believe Allah is a spirit. We don't know what Allah is, what, what form Allah is in. Yeah. This is something that is from the ilmul ghaib, from the unknown. So you keep. So Allah hasn't got a spirit. Like I said, give us the evidence if Allah is a spirit. Show me where. Well, no, no, Allah is a will. I want to continue. Does he have a spirit? I want to continue. We don't know. Continue. Allah alam. This is something that is from the ghaib. So we are not going to talk on behalf of Allah what Allah hasn't revealed to us. 
If Allah has revealed something to us, then we talk about it. Allah says that He is immortal. Allah says He is all-knowing. Allah says He is the most merciful, the most kind. Allah says He is the, uh, the majestic. And these things Allah has revealed to us from the 99 attributes of, it, of Himself. And these 99 attributes form the, form, form the base, uh, sorry, form what Allah is. You cannot take, like you said, Asma wa Sifat. These is one of the categories of Tawheed. So what I'm saying is that we wanted to discuss the topic of Tawheed. We haven't even touched about the Tawheed. Allah says in the Quran, he uses, Allah uses the term La ilaha illallah. Allah uses the term Muhammad Rasulullah. Yes? So all those people like Bob the Builder or Godwin or all the other Smith hackling team, I call them as such, because they come and hackle nowadays. They do not want to have an argument. They want to talk over you and they want to basically just scream and shout for no reason. If you want to talk about the Tawheed, the oneness of Allah, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is in the Quran. Allah, Allah, is men Allah mentions the Tawheed in the Quran, in, in Al-Ikhlas. In Surah Al-Ikhlas, Allah says, that Allah is one. If anyone says that the Quran doesn't teach the oneness of Allah, then they have not read the Quran whatsoever. Because on every other page of the Quran, you'll find about the oneness of Allah. And Allah says, Muhammad Rasulullah. And Allah says in the Quran, as well that if you do not obey the rasul then you do not obey allah because disobedience to the rasul is disobedience to allah what did the rasul say in the hadith if you go for example in bukhari and muslim we have a hadith narrated from um, ibn masood and ibn masood said that the prophet وسلم, used to teach us the, the shahada like he like the he used to teach us the surahs of the quran very clearly these Hadith, uh, this hadith is mentioned in both Bukhari and Muslim. Go and check it out. So anyone who says that the Islam, Islam, the Prophet Wasallam or Allah did not teach us or did not advocate the testimony, the, uh, uh, the Shahadatin, which is La ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah, I bear witness, sorry, Ashhadu la ilaha illallah, which means I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. وَأَشْعَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ I bear witness that there is no... no uh, sorry, I bear witness that Muhammad is his Rasul. This is mentioned, like I said, the Prophet ﷺ used to teach his companions this. The Tawheed, the, sorry, the, uh, the, the Tashahud. So anyone who says that is not in the Quran are clearly deluded. Okay. So anyways, after that long spiel, yep, I asked okay. you, yeah? yeah if he has a, him, no, you said you were, on, to, you were going to tell us uh, how they are... On, what do you mean? Oh, how they are dependent on each other, how it transpires, no, the how the command transpires to the yeah, rest yeah. of the team. Guys, guys, calm down. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was this cameraman fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, so let, me, oh, let me go back. I'm going to continue regardless. Come on, come on. You guys want to debate this debate? So if you want to debate next to the debate, you can talk Guys, calm down. We're trying to talk to you. We're trying to talk to you. I think everyone is hungry here. So go ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait. to the baby. Oh, All right, so now, let me topic. That's fair. That's let me fair. continue. Fair. Tawheed. Let me, that's fair. That's I fair. I live in Riyadh right now. I Tawheed doesn't, doesn't matter if you live in Riyadh. Riyadh. So it, it, it does. What do you mean, so what? So what? So I can drive to Mecca. Do you want to debate with me? I can drive to. What do you mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Because I because I know a lot about your religion. Abu Jahal used to live in the same city as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You should live in the same place as Prophet. Doesn't mean that you can just just because you live in Mecca, just because you live in Medina or wherever in in Saudi Arabia doesn't doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything it's where you're praying to. Right, okay. Guys, guys, okay. guys, let's continue okay. the debate. Okay. Right. Callum, are you going to okay. make statements? I'm going to continue, anything. okay? Mate, you, you are lost. lost. Yeah, go on. So so now you're lost. lost. <laughs> you are lost. So you do know which way you're praying to. So, if guys, it doesn't mean guys, anything. Guys, I'm going to continue. I'm gonna, come can, on. You, can you tell the hacklers to keep quiet? And I mean everyone. Who's the hackler? I'm not telling anybody enough. Who's the hackler? No. I'm not talking to him. No. I'm not talking to him. Everyone who's disturbing us. Listen, listen. Do you want to debate in the Holy Language? Do you want to debate in Arabic? Shall we? You're talking. Okay, okay. yeah. You're I'm going to okay. continue, okay? Yeah. okay? So, right about now, you have negated, yeah? Negated, you've negated yeah? One right. of the essential attributes of Allah, yeah? Which You're is saying that He doesn't have enough. Okay? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Spirit! 
<laughs> Remember spirit, use that spirit. Don't <laughs> don't try to be sly with me, okay, Kalam. So I know I you want well. to know. Yes or no? Does he have enough? Yes or no? He has a will. Fudge in hell, the man to <laughs> die at the guy out. Okay, I want to know, yeah. Okay, if I want to know, I want to know. Does if, he have a nafs? Yes if, or no? If by nafs you mean will, yes, he has a he has a nafs. Okay, so he has a nafs, yeah. If he has, if okay. that's, if does, if I, I, told if I, I, I just want to walk with you quickly. I just want to see something else. Does he have a ruh as well? No, we don't know that. Okay, we don't know that he has a ruh. Don't know he has. We a don't know. Allah has that. Allah has mentioned to us. Does he have an image or form? No, he doesn't have an image either. No. Okay. You're gonna bring up the. The Quran coming as a no 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 intercessor? no 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 I won't because even bring up, I won't bring up none DCC, of these, I bring this up I won't bring up none of these things here okay I, what, what I'm asking you these key, key questions here yeah because what I want here is for those people here who are watching right now on the on the YouTube right now who are definitely here my brothers here my Salafi brothers here they will look on this here and I want you to type in the comment section here that la Allah does have a nafs. I want them to type. When did I stop, say no? Stop, stop, stop. When did I, I say no? I'm finished. Yeah. I say Allah, Allah does have a shape or a form or an image, okay? Because it says that. The, the Salafi brothers say that Allah yeah, has a shape and a form. He has a shape and a form. So the, reason, the reason why, yeah, I'm going to say this to you is. Where is Shamshi? Yeah, when you need him. Yeah. Because yeah. guess what's going to happen to you? Okay, go on. on the sure. day go, go on the evidence. Bring the evidence. Where is a shape or a form? Go on. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Remember, you lot said this, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is besides the topic, yeah. but all right. It's like he butchered the Trinity. All right. Let's see what he does with the Tawhid here. All right. So you're saying Allah doesn't have an image, yeah? Show me. Okay, cool. I could even bring up simple stuff here, but. <laughs> you got crucified in the simple stuff, <laughs> which really? you thought was simple. Is it? Yes. Oh, okay. Remember, you said the father couldn't speak. I showed him he can speak. I did. Go and watch the video at home. <laughs> what language did you speak? Was that? What language? The language that Jesus understood. Shamsi <laughs> <laughs> said they have an essence or a form. Where is he? Where is he? He's in the middle of the talk. Bring him, bring him. Bring him. Okay, right now, he yeah. He said there's an essence, not a form. <laughs> okay, read it. So this is, I'm reading right now, yeah, um, from Tamidi, okay? And it says here from the narration from Abu Herrera, narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Allah will gather mankind on the day of resurrection on a single plane, then the Lord of the worlds will come to them and say, let every person follow what they used to worship. So the worshipers of the cross, um, sorry, so the persons who, who follow what they used to worship. So to the worshiper of the cross, his cross shall be symbolized to him. And to the worshipers of images, his images. And to the worshipers of the fire, his fire. They will, all, they will follow what they used to worship. And um, and Muslims will remain. Then the Lord of the Worlds will come to them and say, "Do you not do you not follow the people?" So they will say, "We seek refuge in Allah from what from you. We seek refuge in Allah from you. Allah is our Lord, and we shall remain here until we see our Lord." And He orders them and makes them firm. They said, "And you will see Him, O Messenger of Allah." He said, "Are you?" harmed in seeing the moon on the night of a full moon they said no O messenger of Allah um, he said so you will be uh, not be harmed in seeing him at that hour then he will conceal himself then he will come and he will make them recognize him then he will say I am your Lord so follow me so the Muslims will arise and the Sirat shall be placed and so forth and so forth so in there yeah wait, wait, this, wait, wait, this wait. isn't this isn't the right the right narration <laughs> Hold on. After all that, hold on. Yeah, this seriously, isn't, this, is, this isn't the right narration. Anyway, yeah? what is the point you're trying to make? That Allah has an image or a form. It has an image that they will recognize him. Yes. Image. Image or form. So the other than Allah, used... they have an image. Because, Sorry? By the way, Allah. Do you know that the, the Muslims will see Allah on the day of judgment? Not so, his image or his form. What do you they say will then? see him. Not, not for example, you, you see the uh, the idol worshippers. They used to make images of their gods. So it'll be some form of an idol or whatever. This is called an image or a form of the real thing. Allah Himself, yes, will show Him. Which you, uh, the the believers, will basically see Allah directly, not some image or form of His. Sorry, this is it right here. Yeah, go on, bring it. Allah would then come to them in a form other than His own form. So Allah is going to come to them in a well, form well, other than his own form, recognizable to them, and would say, I am your Lord. They would say, we take refuge uh, with Allah from thee. We will stay here till our Lord comes to us. And when our Lord would come, we would recognize him. Subsequently, Allah would come to them in his own form, recognizable to them, and okay, said, I am your Lord. What is the source of that? This, the source right now. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I would have loved it. <laughs> So the, the, the four, this is it right here, Sahih Muslim right now. Okay, wait, wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Sahih Muslim. Which, which 
Sahih Muslim. Go, give us a reference so I can check it. Sahih Muslim. Because yeah. they more than one. Because you know what? Many non So, so to you, give Muslims, yeah, Allah has a form, and you don't even Muslim. know Allah has a form. Can How would you recognize Allah? Can the you give us a reference? And, and you know what's funny? Are you yeah? 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 No, no, stop, 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 stop. And you know what's funny? Yeah? Allah is a joker. Yeah. 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 Allah is a joker, you know. You know why Allah is a joker? Oh, no, because, because, Callum, no, on, no, why he is a joker, yeah, is because he's going to come in a form, yeah, that you don't recognize. Can you give us a reference? He's going to do this, yeah? No. Kalam, can you give us a reference? I'm Allah. <laughs> no, but you're not Allah. <laughs> Who's the joker now? Man's the large, Man's the large, Are you going to give us a reference? I'll give you the reference. Okay. I'll give you the, I'll give you the reference. Yes. What is the reference? Yeah. Sahih Muslim, um, if you want to go to the in-book reference, it's book one, hadith number 358. There you go. Right there. Wait, wait, where is it? And do you want to read it in Arabic? Hold Would on. you like to read it? I'll hold give it to you in Arabic on. as well. Reference Sahih Muslim, Yep. 182, mm -hmm. A, in book reference. Book one, Hadith 358, USC, MSA web. Okay, so this is uh, the reference for this Hadith? Yep. Okay. This is, that's the Arabic right there. That's fine, you know, there are many things that we have to check because there are many Hadiths which are Sahih and many Hadiths which are not. That's correct. So we have to make, so I'll check, I'll check this, out the, this is, this is Sahih Muslim. I'll, I will check out the reference. This is Sahih Muslim, just to let you not know. Narrated by Abu Hurairah. Narrated by Abu Hurairah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's your mistake. It doesn't mean it's Sahih, Kalam. Just because I'm, it's from I'm just, Sahih, I'm just telling you, it's in, that's your mistake in I'm just saying that. to you that it's in Sahih. Muslim. Exactly. And that's what I'm going to let you know. That sometimes okay. there's hadith in Sahih Bukhari, for example, no, no, that are not taken as Sahih by Allah some. And I'm simply saying, so, yeah, so, I'm simply saying that my still, Salafi they, brothers, they yeah, that, my that's Salafi that's brothers image. know this as well. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying Can my Salafi brothers know this reference? is because this is also yeah, Ibn Taymiyyah's work as well. Here's a picture of the reference. You know, I'm teaching you something new today. There you go. There you go. Just a reference. Teach! Teach! Guide! Gang! 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 Does that make you feel better? I'm just catching joke, man. Catching joke. You know how you don't like to say Allahu Akbar? I'm just doing that whole thing. Shall we show them what Allahu Akbar is? Anyways, yeah. By the way, listen, listen. So, what does that tell you? What does the hadith tell you? That Allah is a form? That Allah is a form. Yes. Okay. Means Allah. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm simply saying to you, yeah, that anybody who are Muslims right now, yeah, would understand, who are true Muslims, yeah, would understand that you negated, yeah, the central attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, we haven't by negated stating, anything. Can I finish? Yeah. By stating that he doesn't have a spirit or nafs, yeah, by stating, yeah. But that didn't say nafs or spirit. I, I'm just, I'm giving you all of them, yeah. And then also no, no, you, by stating you didn't give us anything that he about him having a spirit. A form. Hold on, hold on. You so, did not so give us any are, evidence that so Allah has a spirit. Things. Did you? Those are the two things. Salam, did you give us any evidence that he has a spirit? You know, I've done this so many times here about when Allah created um, Adam and he breathed, breathed into Adam from his very own soul, from his own. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. So I've done that plenty of times with, with people already, hold so on, I don't on, even on. want to go there again. Do you know what the, tafs what the tafsir says about the blowing of Adam? Bruv? Blow blowing of the spirit that Allah created. The spirit that Allah created, Allah. this was a creation of Allah, Allah. that He breathed. Show, show you know us where He created it. Where did He create it? He created it in His will. When, when, when? Where did He say? Oh, we don't know exactly which day. You, you, guess what? Yeah. When, 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 when? Um, when, 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 when? When, <laughs> when the Jews yeah asked Him yeah what? about the ruh, the soul yeah, yes. He says, you know what? Allah says, I tell tell them you don't know nothing much about the soul. So you right now you don't know nothing about the soul yet. Yeah? But but your scholars here want to tell you that He created the soul. Hold he on. never said that. Hold you're, on, hold you're actually on. Hold invented on, hold things. On. Actually, the Jews came things. and asked Him about information on the soul, on the ruh. It yep. wasn't the ruh of Allah. It was a soul. That means our soul. We have souls. So when he when he was asked, Allah answer, answer Allah responded to that by saying that no one has knowledge of the soul. The knowledge of the soul is except with Allah. Exactly. Okay. So you don't have knowledge so, of the soul. Hold on, hold on. You don't have knowledge hold of the soul. On, hold on, hold on. Kalam, 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 hold on. Regardless, you, you don't have no knowledge you, of the soul. Well, you the mistake you made here, the mistake you made a mistake. You made a mistake. I'm saying you, that you don't know, and I'm using verses finish. to tell you why you don't know. The mistake you made here is this. You're saying that they were talking about Allah's soul. Where is the evidence that Allah is the soul? I'm telling you, yeah. What I'm saying to you, not, regardless if you're talking about Allah's soul or another soul, whatever, you don't have any knowledge about souls. Period. But I didn't Period. say. I didn't say Period. I have knowledge, did I? Stop. Let That's me, a storm and argument. Can I, can I finish? I never said I, I have knowledge of the soul. I All I said is that See, show us evidence Again, that Allah has a soul. Team. You typical. don't have it. Typical. Now again, yeah. What typical G team? Typical, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Like where, the where, gang team. Where in the Quran does Allah? Allah yeah. Where in the Quran does Allah? Tawheed. Where in the is Quran? Is Allah one or not? Where in the Quran? Can we stick to the topic? We haven't see, discussed see, always, a single always. thing about the topic. Here we go again. What is the topic about? Here Allah? we go again. It was about they the never want to listen to what oh, he has to say. Now let me finish, yeah. Where in the Quran? Where in the Quran? 
does it say, Allah says, I have created this, the rule? Where? I've created the rule? Yeah. Okay, first and foremost, whose rule are you talking about? Whose rule? Where in the Quran does it say whose he created the rule? are you talking about? The rule that is in, is in reference to him blowing from his very own rule into... Okay. show me where he says very own rule. Show me where he says that. In his rule. No, you said he, he basically blew his very own rule. Show me where he says. It says a spirit from Allah, not the spirit of Allah. There's a big difference. Ruhum min and Ruhullah, two different words, Kalam. Try to understand. Get educated on the basics of Islam before you come and tell I'm us very educated getting. on the basics of Islam. Uh, that's your, that's, that's, that's your that's division. Why, that's why I just schooled that's you a minute ago. No, you didn't school me. You showed me a hadith which I have to so verify. Anyways, anyways let, me, let me continue with what I'm saying to you. Yeah? No, show me where you claim. Can I finish with you? Can I finish? Because I'm going back to what we're talking about. Yes. Where, so now we are. Now. You're going to show me where Allah is the spirit? Now. I'm going back into this here. Now it's Allah's word, yeah, eternal. When you say Allah's word, Allah's speech is eternal. Yes. Allah's speech is eternal, yeah. Now Allah's nafs here yeah, also is eternal, right? Allah's will? No, his nafs. What is a nafs? Okay, okay. Nafs to you, nafs to you. What is a nafs? If you say it's will, yeah, it's will. Okay, it's eternal. All of Allah's attributes and Allah yeah. are eternal. Okay, excellent. Now this is exactly yeah, what the Christians are saying, yeah, minus the um, incarnation principle. Because they're saying that Allah, okay, Oh, sorry, God or Theos. Let me utilize um, Greek now. Theos, yeah. Jesus didn't speak Greek, by the way. How do you know that? Because okay. shows evidence. I'm just saying. How do you know that? How is you're, the evidence? You're making a claim here yeah, from from ignorance. You don't. Know. No, I'm not. You're just saying he, he, he didn't speak Greek. How because, do you know because that? Because Jesus' disciples were not Greek. So obviously he wouldn't speak to them in Greek. Okay. So you're saying yeah. I see the big question mark on your okay. face there. You're saying yeah, that he never spoke Greek. Yeah. So there's evidence where he spoke. Okay. Because you're, it's, you're it's, it's logical this conclusion you. that if his disciples were not Greek, he's not going to speak to them in Greek. Yeah. You're saying That's a logical never, conclusion. I'm not, I'm not even saying that he spoke Greek or didn't speak Greek. I'm saying that you made a claim but you haven't substantiated it. I have. Okay. Okay. So but, but anyway, can so you, you think, show me what he said? So you think? What is, how is it example, the same thing? For example, because you have people like Josephus here, yeah. who was who was a Jew that spoke Greek, that was writing in the turn of the first century, right? Which how many years after Jesus? Yeah, yeah, what Josephus. How many years after what Jesus? He was a Jew and he spoke Greek. Yeah. How many years after Jesus? You mean how many years? After because that's very important. The time. How many doesn't, years after Jesus? Matter. He's speaking within his first, the same century. By the way, when did Jesus. I say the Jews didn't speak Greek? Yes, you are right. Yeah. I said Jesus did not preach in Greek. So I'm saying to you, how do you know? Okay, anyway, I think we're side, you know? we sidetracking. How do you know? Like okay, I said. That's right, it's a sidetrack. So let me get, logical let me get back into it. No, understanding, you because know. his disciples you are not know. Greek, so he obviously wouldn't speak to them. You don't know. Okay, carry on. Because there's plenty of people you said the Trinity. Hellenized. Remember, yeah? This is now an area that's conquered by the Romans, yeah? Who were Hellenized, yeah? And they will be imposing their... um their uh, Of course. So you're, you're saying they're going to force everyone to speak Greek? No. The, That's what imposing means. Not everybody, because you don't need everybody to speak the language. You need the certain individuals, i.e. those who are high up in the, the hierarchy, intellectuals, the intellectuals, to speak the Greek, to communicate via letters and so forth, and to keep the people in the line Disciples were not them. Thank you. That's so what I'm saying. So anyways, can we, let me continue. Yeah, can let you continue? Let me continue, let me continue yeah? So now, we just, we just acknowledge the fact here yeah, that there are certain attributes of Allah that is of, of course eternal, yeah, which is... Not certain. All of his attributes. Okay. All, all of his attributes. All our attributes yeah? yes. I'm, I'm not even saying that, but you're saying that. Okay. Yes, all of them. All, all of them. Of them. Because all of them Allah is eternal. eternal. No problem. No problem. And his yeah, attributes yeah, yeah, yeah. are intrinsic yeah, to yeah, yeah. him. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. So now, yeah, I'm saying to you, yeah, for example, Theos has um, his, uh, his, his logos. The logos is eternal, right? You which tell me. Logos, which will equate. By the way, what does eternal mean? Equate, equate to be in, yeah. Equate to be in, yeah. The um, the uh, sorry, the kalam, yeah, of Allah. It will be eternal, right? So, are you saying the kalam? Or the speech of the Theos is the Logos. Is that what he's saying? Yes. Can the, can the Theos speak by himself? Regardless of all that, that. No, no, not regardless, because that is a bit I got you on earlier. You and you got, keep repeating yourself. You yes, I have. I showed you the Father can speak on his own. Okay. Do you not learn, Kalam? Are you that, right, are you that egoistic let, that you will not acknowledge you when you have been corrected from the Bible itself during the baptism of Jesus? Who spoke? Yes. The reason you will not acknowledge so, so, is that because okay. so you, you're saying the father you, spoke. you are. I'm saying you well, According saying, to the Bible, who are you spoke? Saying, are you saying the father spoke? Did Jesus speak that? I'm asking. Was it the father according spoke? to that, yes. According to that. Please bring it to me where the father spoke. Okay, who spoke? I'm asking you because you say the father spoke. Because according to them, Jesus was getting baptized. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Holy Spirit was in the form of the dove, and it is the Father who was speaking. 
Just, it is a word! Just show me, just show me, just show me. Show you what? Show me where the father was speaking. Okay, who spoke during baptism? You I'm, not, I'm not even gonna go there with you. You made a claim that you cannot substantiate. That's I I'm showing it's you. It's not me! I'm showing you. There it is, is a Christian! There is a habit between with you, yeah? You're making claims that you cannot substantiate, and most oh, people yeah? Yeah, will get bamboozled by that. So, anyways, yeah? You didn't get bamboozled, but no, I, I didn't get bamboozled. Okay, so you're saying that when during the baptism. Okay, I don't even want to go there. I'm no, just, the reason I've, you don't want to go there because you will be actually losing this argument about whether the father can speak or not. I can't lose. I can't lose. Oh, that's arrogance? No, I'm saying I can't lose. Well, I, you take, can lose. I take on you what my brother Hamza says, yeah? What? I can either. I can't lose. I can only win. Hamza! Yeah, no, Stopping you. Hamza is, Hamza is you know? a general for that. I can only win or I can be educated, yeah? <laughs> like me, I'm here, I'm good. I'm Gucci, Imi baby. Imitation is the something. best form of flattery. If you could teach me something. Like, Thank you. Thank you, you for flattering my brother Hamza. I'll flatter him, I'll flatter him <laughs> if he's telling the truth. Yeah? Alhamdulillah, okay. And he's so doing I, something. Are you, are you telling me the father cannot speak? Okay. I'm saying to are you, you going to answer that question? I'm saying to you this. Are you going to answer that question? I'm saying to you this. Can the father speak? Would you like me to speak? Yes, please. Okay. I'm saying to you this, yeah? You cannot separate the father from his ability to from his speech and you cannot separate his speech and his and and his authority from his soul or his spirit all three of those things are one that makes him him just the same way yeah that Allah's speech makes him him you cannot separate Allah's speech if you separate Allah's speech from himself Allah is no more if you separate Allah's attributes from himself he is no more that's exactly what the Christians have minus the incarnation principle okay so you're telling me every time Jesus spoke it was actually the father speaking I never said that again. But that's why I'm asking you, can the father speak okay. without Jesus? Okay, so every time, every so, okay, time, okay, I use the word logos, he doesn't like every Jesus. Every time, every time, okay, let me do that later. Can the father, every, the time, every time Jesus spoke, yeah, yes. God was speaking. Oh, so when, when Jesus said, I by myself can do nothing, yeah. who was speaking? God. So, so God cannot do anything by himself, thank you. God. This is the Christian God you're talking about here. The Christian God cannot do anything by himself. So who's, whom is he reliant on so, in order so, to speak, so again, yeah. in order to do something? So again, yeah, for example, yeah. Actually, you lost that one. No, it's not. You don't even realize it. You're not, because you're not understanding. You don't understand this, what? yeah? The speech, you said every time Jesus this, spoke, this it is what, God who spoke. This, this oh, says, so. The speech itself cannot do nothing until yeah. the mind or the will decrees yeah. for it to speak. <laughs> so, Sorry. when you say this, that simple, I wait, don't wait, understand wait. why you cannot wait, understand wait, wait. that. So you're saying when Jesus speaks, who is actually speaking there? Who is issuing the word? Who is actually uh, giving out this? Uh, or, or basically, uh, who is, who is Mashallah. constructing this, Mashallah. these by words? The Allah, by the will of God. By the will of Dios, by the will of Yahweh. That's who. Okay, so it is actually the Father speaking. <laughs> you see, he's stuck there. He knows that. He knows that. But he will not admit defeat. Because this is the, this is the arrogance with Kalam that we realize. With. No, no, no. You, you haven't realized. You said every time Jesus speaks, it is the God speaking. So when Jesus says, I by myself can do nothing, as I hear, I obey. This was God speaking. When Jesus says, I do not know the hour, it was. God oh, oh, so now you made it go the word specific. No, I have to make it specific for your mind to understand. Oh, for my mind to understand? Does your mind understand? Of course I do. So it's not God the Father. Is it God the Word? Okay. It's God the Word, right? It's not God the Father. Now establish again the, the divine eternality of the Son. You see how we do? You see how we distinguish between God the Father and God the Word here? It is God the Word speaking, which means Jesus, the second person of the Trinity is speaking, not the Father. Thanks for making a U-turn, Kalam. No. You see, this is what happens when you speak to someone who will not admit that he's wrong, he would rather comes down change. And then the words are spoken. Your will, the decision um, factor to speak here yeah, is what initiates your ability to speak things out. Can the Father speak? For the fourth time I'm asking you, can the Father speak? Without the, without the logos, can the Father speak by him? Himself. Okay, the father okay, does not speak. The father does not speak. Does God? If your question is yeah, if your question is does God speak? Then it's then it's yes. Okay. But if it's the father, i.e., the will, no. If you're saying communication, then that's a different thing as well. Okay. Let me ask you: Can the son speak? Can the son speak? Yes. So the father cannot speak, but the son can speak. Can the Holy Spirit speak? Okay, so the Holy Spirit, in terms of speaking, literally, no, it cannot. Okay, why does John 16 and 14 say, the Spirit will not speak of his own, he will only say what he hears. Mm -hmm. So what is it the Holy Spirit will say? Okay, so now, in terms of, on, in terms of that itself, yeah? And he's like, yes. guys, guys, calm down, yes. 
foolish. Right. Hey, so in terms of that self gear, now it's don't be a self gear. Doesn't I know it's difficult often by itself. When the Holy Spirit, for example, comes into you, let's just say you are the person that comes into you, you your sense of inspiration, you're speaking for the The spirit will not speak of his own. Okay. It will only speak what he hears. And you'll agree with him. This is the maximum. For example, John 16 and 14. He supports blindly anyway. The actual spirit itself speaks without a body to speak to I'm telling you what the Bible quotes. I'm quoting the Bible. The Bible is saying, wait, wait, the Bible is saying, he will speak what he hears. So who will speak here? Who is this he? Yes, yes. According to the Bible, it says he will speak. So does the Holy Spirit speak? No, in terms, would you like to listen? I'm listening. You're, 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 you're actual speaking, like voice and so forth. A spirit cannot speak without a body. Are you with me? A spirit cannot speak without a body. You dig what I'm saying? And they will tell you that every single word or every scripture you don't even know what you're talking about here. Mate, seriously, go back to Facebook. So let me ask you this. So if you were a physical human being, that would be speaking out the words physically. Are you listening to me? Christians? All right, let me ask you this. Are you telling me that God, before he incarnated as a man, never spoke? God as incarnated as a man. Before God incarnated, Christian theology. Before God incarnated as a man, are you telling me he never spoke? In a physical sense, yeah? In a physical sense. No, 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 no. We didn't Boy and you're laughing. As, as you a, can't answer questions, but you're really shouting at No, he never spoke in that physical sense. Yeah. If you're talking about spiritual yeah, yeah, sense, of course. Yeah, 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 that's okay. right. So, looks like you're talking about the Bible as well. Power, power, power. Come on, man. Yeah. Guys, guys, come on, calm down, man. I think we should wrap up after this. What is it? Come on. This looks like they're having a bigger fight than us. No, that's bastards. Okay, I'm going to Deuteronomy 18. Yeah, I think Deuteronomy 18. <laughs> I like that. That's all he's got. That's all he's got. I like that. That was, that was funny. <laughs> so go on, you, you, you can paraphrase it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. That's it, yo. You're weak. Is this Christianity? So I think it's just 18, I think 16. Okay, here he says. Yep. I'll read it from verse uh, Deuteronomy 18, verse 14. It says, The nations you will dispossess, listen to those who practice sorcery or, div uh, or, div or divination. But as for you, the Lord your God has not permitted you to do so. The Lord your God will raise up from you a prophet like me from among you, from your fellow Israelites. You must listen to him. Uh, by the way, the NIV says, Your fellow brethren. Uh, that's a definition. Then he says in verse 16, for this is what you asked of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly when you said let us not hear the voice of the Lord our God nor see the great fire anymore or we will die so they don't want to hear the voice of God anymore they were hearing his voice obviously earlier yes they, because it might be like I don't know thunder, thunder or whatever reason yes they don't want to hear it anymore so that tells you that God spoke okay, no. well, that, that tells you you spoke. Yes, I would say God spoke, yeah, but not in the essence of, me, of literally there is a physical body speaking. It's, this is speaking metaphorically, and unfortunately, yeah, where you're outside of the tradition, yeah, you don't understand the context of what they're talking about. So, are you saying God did not speak? God did not speak to Moses? That's, that's going to be a very long one. Because what I'm going to say to you is this, yeah, what I'm going to say to you is this, yeah, if God literally spoke words to Moses, or was there? An angel in the fire that was speaking. No, no, I'm talking about from the Christian perspective. Yeah, no, but I'm asking you that. Do you understand that there was. Are you talking from a Christian perspective or Islamic perspective? I'm telling you. Because from, it's quite different. No, no, I'm telling you. Because from as far as the Christians are concerned, the angel of the Lord was present and it was the angel of the Lord speaking. No, but, but what I'm saying is that here the people are, are pleading with God not to hear his voice, not the angel's voice. Yes. Ah, nice strike, Alam. So, anyway, by the way, I think we should, we should wrap it up. So let, me, let me explain something to you. Yeah, go on. Let me explain something to you. Okay, at that moment there, yeah. The angel of the Lord yeah, was actually talking about um, Metatron. If you go into the scriptures, you 
understand yeah that there was an angel that was given um the name of the lord there was an angel that was given the name of the lord and he was considered to be called the lesser yahweh i believe that is deuteronomy 34 23. No, we are not talking about lesser god here we are talking about the lord he says here very clearly look here he says here yeah, we don't want to hear your voice yeah, this is the moment yeah, where let where us not hear the voice of the lord the lord here is capitalized like it means understand? it means it's the word that's used here is like yahweh like that is the yahweh he was called Yahweh. That's what I'm saying to you. Who was called the Yahweh? The angel of the Lord was called Yahweh. But you said he was a lesser God. They called him the lesser Yahweh. Yes. The le yes. I'm not talking about the lesser Yahweh. Here he just says the Lord, not lesser Yahweh. Listen, the interpretation of what is called the lesser Yahweh. Let me finish up with you. Let me finish up with you. Let me finish up with you. Yeah, I think Let me finish up with you. So now, yeah, this particular verse here is talking about when a vision came to them. A vision came to them, yeah, where they saw Yahweh. And there's also an instruction in Soldier. I don't want this verse, I don't know this. I'm talking about this occasion where he's talking about Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. I'm talking about Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy where they saw an angel. My friend, I'm talking about Deuteronomy. There's no mention of angel here. This so, whatever you're stop, saying. Stop, stop, stop. Listen, the, Moses is talking about a previous um, situation. Deuteronomy 18. Listen, yeah, Moses. Deuteronomy 18, 14. Yeah, Sorry. yeah I do. Well, let me, let me continue. Let me continue. Yeah? So, anyways, yeah, in order to have an attribute, it means that you possess something, the property of something. Attribute is not something. Not, not, not something innate inside of you is something that you possess so for example Allah says here yeah, that I will write on my naps yeah that my spirit sorry my mercy will prevail over my wrath okay so Allah has the the, the, um, the attribute of mercy on his spirit itself does it actually say it's on the spirit? Yeah. Or you made that up? No, it says it. It's Where like, does it say that? Well, I'm gonna in the hadith. I, I don't. Yeah, in hadiths. I don't want to sidetrack because it right so now. Because so far we haven't. I don't, don't want to sidetrack it. Any I don't want to sidetrack okay, it anyway, right now. I did. Bring it next time. Yeah, next, next time we'll do it. But I'm sure that the, the audience can look at it themselves <laughs> as well. <laughs> Putting it on the audience. The onus no, is on I'm, you, I'm my friend. You, I've, I've showed you certain things already. But okay, I will, okay, anyway. I will I show. Don't know. Stop. You know, can I finish it? Yeah, go on. So, anyways, you have this. the connection with the You have the spirit that obviously all the properties are now, you know, precipitates from his spirit itself. Okay. So those are the two so far. We have the spirit and then we have his speech. And then at the, at the highest point here, which will be his will or his consciousness to make the decisions and so forth. To make the decision that he's actually going to speak or to make the decision that he's going to act and so forth. That there is the controlling factor of his speech, of, of his actions and his speeches and so forth. His will also is also the controlling factors of his um, personality, so to speak. His personhood, his mercy. Am I going to do mercy today or am I going to do wrath today? Type of thing. Do you see what I'm saying? Is it? Is it? Um, am I going to be angry today? That's all innate in certain inside of his spirit itself. But the highest point of all of those things there is the is the tri is the triad part, which is which is his will or consciousness to make the decision. So I'm saying to you, it's got nothing to do with the Trinity. It, it has everything to do I'm with. I'm sorry to say that. Everything. Just because. Can I finish? Can I finish with you? Can I finish? It's got nothing to do with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry to say that. Can I finish with you? Carry on. Carry on. You don't understand. This is waffling okay, now. Hey, That's all. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. So all of those three points here that you lot have inside of your Islamic literature. Yeah. The, the, oh, we don't have anything unless the spirit that's okay, you okay. brought up you, you need say, to you, you need to provide that. the evidence you say do that. not put the onus on this on the viewers right, on me that. you bring it up I will the onus show is you. on you to bring the you evidence know, I'm, I'm going to show you afterwards yes yeah, so, i don't want to be sidetracked right now. Spirit, i don't want to be sidetracked right now so anyways yeah so you have this same principle in islamic literature if you go inside of the islamic sorry inside of the christian bible the same principles are there if you go inside of the jewish text as well the same principle is let me finish yeah we, we, it's right there i just showed him yeah the tree of life yeah the keter what's what's the second one I don't know the name. Keter, Baina, and also the Hikmah. They have it right there. You can see the tri-head part yeah. of the but Jewish... But you know that picture you showed yeah, yeah, us? Yeah, it had like six other categories in that. Yeah, those those are the lesser ones I'm going to talk about afterwards. Okay, so I'll it's not just a tri, remember? There's no, more than that. that's the head. That's the Godhead. Yeah. I took, I took so you talked to you. us about just half I'll of talk, it. I will talk there's with a, you. There's more there. I will talk with so you later on. nothing to do with tri. the conversation? Yeah, but you seem to... Let me finish, man. Let me finish. It's got nothing to do with Trinity. You're just wasting time. Brother, let me finish anyways, yeah? So now when you go inside of the Christian literature itself, yeah? It literally tells you that. Um, the word, the logos, it literally says that the logos is there. It literally tells you about the Holy Spirit, the Ruh, as well is there. It literally tells you about the Father or the authority itself. Now, if you go into the early church fathers, yeah, they explain it philosophically Which one? to you as well. Which father? Do you remember any? Yes. Which yes. one? You can go into Clement of Alexandria. You can go into um, Justin Martyr. You can go into Tertullian. You can go into the whole list of them, yeah. Justin, Justin Martyr. He did not believe in the Trinity. He believed that there were okay. two authorities. Okay. 
let me finish. In the heavens, yeah. the Father and the Son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did not mention the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, you no, know, no, no, honestly, can I, can no, I, this let is me a finish. Can I finish? Can I finish? No, no, because, can I finish? because you're I'm, not, I'm rounding up you what said it's got something to do with the Trinity. Why, why don't you allow me to finish? To do with the Christian why don't you allow me to finish? Yeah? Because you're waffling let me, now. Let me finish now. So, right there, we can see that the Jewish texts have it. The Christians don't believe in the Trinity. The Christian texts. That's a false accusation on the Jewish. Now, what I would love for you guys to do, he's saying it's not there. Go, I'm telling you, all the people. Kabbalah, everybody who's watching right now, Kabbalah yeah, go, not check, the mainstream go Judaism. check the first century Jewish scholar Philo, yeah, and if he doesn't mention every single part of the Trinity inside of it. Okay? So one it's philosopher, clear, it's one clear philosopher in there. from if the you Jewish go belief, inside, if you go not even a rabbi. Of the second century, but what's Philo if you go, a rabbi? If you go inside of the rabbi? second century yeah, Jewish text, yeah, was Philo which is, which a is rabbi? the Midrash and all of those other texts, yeah, you will see the same principle is in there. You can go later on into Moses Maimonides, who actually recapitulates every single thing I've just said in there as well so the Jews have it the they don't have the Trinity like the Christians the definitely Christ not the Christians this whole and, and I said to you already stop. yes I said to you already yeah that the Jews do not have the same concept of, of the Christians in terms of the Trinity the only distinguishing factor is that the Christians um, materialize it in the form of Jesus Christ where they do not materialize it in the form of Jesus Christ they leave it purely intellectual and spiritual or philosophical so this Trinity that you talk about from the Jewish perspective go ahead is it anywhere in the Old Testament Yes, they, they, they literally draw from the Old Testament text. Can you give me one this. verse from the Old Testament which would prove what you're saying? One, when one verse or more uh, verses which prove what you're saying from the Old Testament. So I've already said to you. Yeah. No, you told me five. Okay. You didn't tell Old Testament. Okay, so Old Testament, it tells you, yeah, it's via the via hikmah, wisdom, yeah, that the whole earth was, was created or constructed. They tell you that hikmah is, all, is talking about the Shekhinah or the Holy Spirit themselves. Then it talks about this, the, um, the, the, the words or the speech of God creating things or putting things into existence. Those are the two parts of the Trinity right there. Then there's also the Father of the Authority. The Sorry, the speech of whom? The speech of? The speech. The, the speech of whom? They just say that. No, no, speech of whom creates? <laughs> whose, spirit, whose speech creates these things? It, it will be the speech of Yahweh or Elohim, that's the one. But that. earlier you said, Yahweh doesn't speak. You told me it was the son who speaks. There you go. These are the lies he comes up with. What are you talking about? I think we should end what it. What are you here. talking about? This is just pure lies, pure speculation. Okay, okay. Not you, the the you do that. What I want to ask my, the audience to do, yeah, please, yeah, be, <laughs> yes, please. be fair, be honest with yourselves and do the actual research. I've quoted many things in there for you to, re for you to research. You told us Stop. Let me only the only again, the son speaks. Again, 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 Sorry, again. You only do not the allow, human form Why speaks. do you not allow me to? He doesn't speak why at do you all not allow me to, unless he's in a human form. That you is do what not allow me said. to finish. Anyways, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so I'm going to finish. Yeah. I've given you everything finish. that you need. Yeah. I would love for you guys to do not just simply. It didn't show us anything from just the Old to, I don't want you to simply to say, oh, boo, boo, boo. boo. I want you guys. I don't think. I want you guys here to actually look at what I've said to you guys here yeah, and check it and write it out in the comment section. If I'm wrong, show me where I'm wrong. But if I'm right, just approve to me that I'm right. Where you where you're wrong is Kabbalah is not mainstream Judaism. So anyway, let's go back to the original topic which we never even discussed. Is Tawhid advocated? In the Quran. Oh, you never asked me that question. Because that was the topic I kept telling you. Let's back, get back to the topic. No, but we you never did. It's on camera. You never told me. Is, is, is Tawheed. I, yeah, stop, stop. You, you I said, let's talk about the Tawheed. Yeah, you said to me, you never told me. Is the Tawheed advocated in the Quran? Okay, what are you I was standing here? That was enough. That was not, no way part of the conversation. So you can't come onto the camera now and say, oh, back to what we were talking about. Don't do that because that's, that's unfair. No, you, no, you, no, no, you no, was not talking when about. When I said the topic is Tawheed. Yes. Yes, what did you understand? I explained to you what Tawheed was at right at the beginning. No, no. You're, you're now saying you gave me the three tawhid. categories. Wait, wait. You, you gave me the three categories tawhid of Tawheed. And I gave you what Tawheed was. Now you're saying in the Quran, I never had that conversation with you. So don't say to the camera, so, so, back to so, Tawheed so wait, in the wait, Quran. Wait. So you, so ask Kalam, yes. who's a really smart guy, I'm, I'm assuming. Yes. When we talk about Tawheed, the Quran doesn't come into the topic, uh, in the conversation at all. Wow. <laughs> did you even compute that? Okay. How did you manage to do that? When we talk about Tawheed, do not, we will never talk about, unless I ask him about where in the Quran it is, he will assume we shouldn't use the Quran at all. Okay, what Seriously? I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is this, you, you never start the conversation with me saying, oh, Tawheed in the Quran. You asked me a question about Tawheed. I explained to you what Tawheed is. I could show you where you can find the elemental part of Tawheed in the Quran, but that wasn't the question or the 
Quran. Also, you you do believe it's in the Quran. Do I believe what? That Tawhid is advocated in the Quran. I would say to you that there is the elemental parts here that you can extrapolate from the Quran to construct Tawhid. Okay, it's La ilaha illallah Tawhid. La ilaha illallah is the Shahada of of no, no. you. No, no. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah the Shahada. La ilaha illallah. Yes. Is that Tawhid? Is that Tawhid? Yes. Based upon what I've just said to you earlier on, no, that wouldn't be the definition of Tawhid. No. Okay, so what? How would you define Tawhid? Just once again to recap for the audience. Okay, Tawhid is literally the unification of the one. One what? Just the one. So, so when he tawhid, says. So for, let me explain to you what I mean, okay? You have the root word which is Wahid, which means one. Then you have the, um, the uh, verbal prefix which is Ta. The Ta meaning you're making something one. So that's what it literally means to make something one. Can Wahid mean plural? Wahid is not plural. Is Allah Wahid? Is Allah Wahid? Allah is Ahad. Allah is Ahad, yeah. Is Allah Wahid? I can't remember. I believe so. I believe that's one of his names. I'm, I'm going to say, wait, wait, stop. I believe that's one of his names. Okay. Kul huwallahu ahad. What do you understand? Yeah, so he is one. That's ahad, not wahid. So you agree Allah is one? So again, remember, you said wahid, but this is what you just um, recited there is ahad. No. Are you with me? Kul huwallahu ahad. Exactly, it's ahad. The word it's ahad. Not wahid. Wait, just the, the word ahad. Yes. Okay, and the word wahid, it is like me saying, you're talking about one, but not oneness. Are you with me? So Tawheed, okay, yeah. it comes, the root word is Ahad. Yes, the, which the, is one. The root word the is root Wahid. It's Wahid. Yes, Wahid means wahid. one. Yeah. And Ahad is also basically means, means one. It means alone or single. Yeah. yeah, it means one. It doesn't mean plural. That's what I'm trying to okay, tell you. Cool. I'm okay, Carry So Allah is not plural, He's one. Okay, continue. So that means the Quran categorically tells us that Allah is one. And these are only two verses I give you. There are scores of verses in the Quran. So we established La ilaha illallah, mm -hmm. which is in chapter 48. If you, you can go and look it up. Mm -hmm. Yes. In, uh, in, uh, Another, sorry, this is in Fat, chapter 48, yes, Fat, Surah Al Fat. Okay. And another is uh, Muhammad Rasulullah, yeah. again, is mentioned in the same chapter. Yes, in fact. So you say? And you want me to show it to you? I'm going to show it to you. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I don't want to. I don't want to digress. Go on, continue. It's not a digress. It's the same continue, verse. Continue, yes. continue. And then it says. So we we have actually established that both La ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah is in the Quran. Yes, and it's not once. It's Allah being one is mentioned many times. Muhammad being the Rasul is mentioned many times. And here's the crux of the matter because many Christians are saying nowadays because we have been challenging the Trinity. So they are trying to challenge us on the Tawheed. But what is Tawheed? Tawheed is the declaration of faith. Declaration that Allah is one. Because the word, the Quran is actually the speech of Allah. Allah is not doing the Shahada. We have to do the Shahada. So we say Ashhadu Allah ilaha Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. Allah doesn't say Ashhadu Allah ilaha because Allah is not testifying that Allah is one. Allah is saying, say, Qul la ilaha illallah. Say la ilaha illallah. Okay? Because Allah is not here the witness. He's not declaring. He, he himself is one. We have to testify that He is one. And this Shahadatin, one of them declaring that Allah is one, the other Shahada is declaring Muhammad is his Rasul. Both of them are found clearly in the Quran. So anyone, I think there were some people here last week uh, and they wanted to debate uh, myself as well. And then they ended up debating Shamsi because the cameras were not free when uh, they wanted to debate me. But anyway, when they discussed with Shamsi, Shamsi tried to show them these verses. But they didn't want to listen to us. So just to clarify, I'll give you the two verses which clearly shows La ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah, both of them. Okay, so one of them, it says here, فَعَلَمُوا إِنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ But uh, sorry, that was chapter 47. Sorry. فَعَلَمُوا أَنَّهُ It says, أَنَّهُ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Yes? Quran chapter 47 verse 19. And then you know, yes? separate, separate chapter, not the same chapter which you said before. It's separate. It doesn't have to be same line, same yeah, chapter. As long as it says, that's what La ilaha illallah, and it says Muhammad Rasulullah, that's fine. We told the Trinitarians the same thing. It doesn't have to be the same verse. 
where he says the three are one. Yeah. Show us anywhere from the Bible where the three are one. And they are unable to show us. In fact, Bob the Builder admitted that it's not summarized in one verse. I agree totally. It's not summarized in one verse. Show us number of verses so where he says anywhere where the three are one. So basically, your Shahadatain is in the numerous verses. Shahadatain is in, is in, is in is different in, chapters. Is in different number, verses. many, many uh, verses. Yes. Okay, cool. And he says here in chapter 48, verse 29, he says here, Muhammadur Rasulullah. This is the, the very beginning. Yes? Cool. And then he says in chapter. And this is where it says again, there are many uh, many people who reject the hadith and many Christians who say that it doesn't say, in fact I heard Bob the Builder say that it is only the first century Muslims who were told to obey Muhammad sallallahu No, the Quran doesn't say this. This is a strawman argument which he brings up in order to uh, basically somehow show people that this is what the Muslim Shahada is or this is what the belief is. No, it doesn't. For us it is intrinsic, it is ex explicitly mentioned in the Quran where Allah says in chapter chapter 4 verse 80 it says here he who obeys the messenger has obeyed Allah but those who turn away from disobedience of, Allah, uh, of the messenger we have not sent you over them as a guardian okay. Ex except as, uh, as a guardian so, yes so, so this is chapter 4 verse 80 it says here very clearly he who obeys the messenger means Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa has obeyed Allah and then it says here in chapter 4 64 uh, actually in chapter 4 it says two very uh, these are linked verses that's why I read that just just last two before you do all of that yeah, I just want to know why I'm here basically because I know you're, you're, you're quoting off all these things here and I've told you already you can find you know the Tawheed inside of the Quran you can extrapolate various different verses to make them equate to it so like I don't know is it, do you need me in here for something? Uh, it's, it's, it's just to confirm because uh, they also bring up. They also bring up. I've, 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 uh, I've just re uh, realized that they bring up this other hadith yes. in which Allah will actually, um, yeah, where, where the Quran will intercede yes. for the believers on the day of judgment. Yes. They are saying, look here, they do not. Uh, believe that man can sorry God will basically incarnate as a man yeah. but here the Quran is incarnate uh, Allah's speech is incarnating yeah. as a Quran yeah. what they fail to understand is that because the hadith also says that your Siam your fasting will intercede with you will take the form of a man and will intercede for you the key bit that missed out here is that these are your good deeds which will take the form of a man Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Listen. C O E. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. I don't even listen to Sky YG. I just listen to C O E. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. I don't even listen to Sky YG. Man, just listen to C O E. Man, just listen to C O E. Man, just listen to C O E. If you see me in C O E, cut it over everything. C O E. Man, not even know BBC. Man, not even know ITV. Not even listen to the M U M. They just listen to C O E. Sorry, mommy, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. Listen to your mom, listen to your mom. I just listen to the C O E. Man, I like C O E. C O E, that's C O E. C O E, C O E. C O E, that's C O E. C O E, C O E. C O E, that's C O E.